After a year of heated debate over emergency medical services, Pflugerville is moving forward with a private company. Last night, the city council authorized the city manager to execute a contract with Acadian Ambulance Services of Texas. Here to talk about this is Pflugerville City oh. Council Member Doug Weiss. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, Rebecca. It's great to be here with you, and uh, thank you for covering this important story. Of course. Travis County ESD2 currently provides EMS to Pflugerville, but is expected to withdraw ambulance services after December 31st. Doug, what went into the decision to go with a private ambulance service? Uh, well, it was, uh, it, it was an important decision to make to ensure that our citizens had uh, continuous service uh, and were able to uh, receive ambulances uh, in the event of an emergency. Uh, ESD2, which is uh, a separate entity, but also known as the Pflugerville Fire Department, uh, they pursued one option uh, that uh, unfortunately failed at an election uh, last week. And uh, we had a, a parallel solution running in the, uh, the races and uh, we're prepared to execute on that to ensure, again, that continuity. What are the expected quality of service and response times, and how will this uh, be ensured with a, with a new EMS provider? Uh, well, one of the great things about being able to negotiate this contract is that uh, our contract is performance-based. Uh, it does uh, set a minimum number of ambulances that they have to keep in the area, uh, but it is uh, measured based on uh, the response time, and that response time is uh, set at a, a two full minutes uh, faster uh, than the previous uh, standard for response time in, in Pflugerville. Uh, so we're really excited that uh, we should be able to provide an even higher level of service than people were uh, uh, receiving uh, prior. There has been controversial messaging over the issue in the past year, including some political signage saying that ambulance services would end in Pflugerville. What would you like people to know, your constituents, about this latest decision? Well, I think what's important is that uh, we are committed to our constituents uh, and we are going to ensure that that service uh, continues. Uh, that's been our message since those signs showed up uh, early last year, uh, that, uh, that they were simply not true, that uh, we would do what it took uh, to ensure quality service remains in Pflugerville. At Pflugerville's, I'm sorry, there's a delay here. Uh, Pflugerville's rapid growth and the ability to continue providing uh, emergency services have been a big part of, of the issue. Uh, is this the long-term option to sustain quality service while the city continues to grow? I think it's a step in uh, the right direction towards a long-term solution. Uh, this will give us uh, a couple of years to see how it works out. Uh, and if the, uh, the right solution is to continue with Acadian or whether it is to build our own service, uh, as you may know, ESDs were created to provide funding for rural and volunteer fire departments uh, many years ago uh, and uh, frankly seemed to be an antiquated uh, funding mechanism uh, moving forward. So we're we're excited that this is an opportunity uh, to lead us to the future. Uh, I think it uh, it could very well result in a, uh, a city based uh, EMS uh, ambulance service in the future. All right. Pflugerville City Council member Doug Weiss, thank you so much for sharing your time and perspective with us tonight. Thank you, Rebecca. Stay with us. We're back after the break with sports.